Hey there, I hope you're doing well. Valentine's Day is just around the corner and I don't know about you, but I am super excited about it. Over the past few years, I have really gotten into Valentine's Day. I think it is just such a fun holiday. I love celebrating my husband. I love celebrating our kids. I have a few things planned for them this year and I truly enjoy celebrating my girlfriends. Their friendships are so important to me. This year I'm having a small intimate Valentine's Day brunch at my house. I do plan on sharing that here on my YouTube channel and on my Instagram and blog as well so if you're not following me over there make sure to do so I will have the links in the description box below something that I've truly enjoyed doing over the past few years is putting together a Valentine's Day gift box and sending it to my best friend Melissa so this year I thought I would sit down and share with you what I am giving her I did do a blog post on this last year so I'll have that linked in the description box below as well if you want to get a few more ideas I also have some other Valentine's Day content up on my blog, an Amazon Prime outfit um, ideas, a few other things. I'll have them all linked in the description box. But here is Melissa's little gift basket box bucket. We'll call it a bucket <laughs> since it's basically in a little Tupperware. I just thought it was super cute. But this is an overview look at it. Gift giving is definitely, I think, my top... I think giving and receiving is like my top love language, especially gifts like this, which have a bunch of different things. I think there's a huge difference in here's a piece of candy and here's your favorite piece of candy. I think when you put together a gift for somebody that really represents them, it shows that you listen to them, you remember what they said, you care, and you're stuff like this for me, like a gift basket, is something that I put together over time. It's not something that I've just gone out and bought a bunch of random things. Like I've gone to a few different stores and I'll see something that just reminds me of Melissa and I'll pick it up. And then over time, I will have a fun little gift basket for her. So I definitely think that putting gifts together shows a lot of thought and care. And I don't know, that's just me. That's why it's my love language. I just really enjoy doing things like this. So I showed you an overview. Now I'm going to share with you what I put inside. So this year I didn't do as much shopping as I typically do. I just wasn't out in stores as much. So I feel like this is heavy candy based, but there's still a few other things in here as well. So first thing is first, it's just a cute card. I got this at Target. It says, you have the kindest heart on the outside. There's a fun message on the inside and I'll write a personalized note as well. I have a bottle of wine. If you followed my Vlogmas series, this will probably look familiar to you. I did get this in my wine advent calendar. I do not like Chardonnay. Melissa, enjoy Chardonnay. So this is 60% Savion and 40% Chardonnay. So I thought she might enjoy it. So I just went ahead and stuck it in here and she will not care that it came from my wine advent calendar. I put this super cute mug in here. It says honeybee. She has honeybee bath bombs. It's her company and Melissa means honeybee and she tells everybody about it. So I got her this mug and it is yellow on the inside, which I think is super cute. And then inside the mug, I just stuck these strawberry gummies. I got these at Target. They're just heart shaped strawberry flavored gummies. I thought they were super cute and I love the way that they look in the mug. So I have those in there. This actually didn't fit in the little bucket, so I might just hand it to her or try and figure this out a little bit better. But this is just a little heart-shaped chocolate box that I got from Dollar Tree. It just says, you are a fine apple. One year I found her one that said, let's flamingle, which is super cute. Um, but this is what I found this year, and I just thought it was fun. So for a dollar, threw that in. These are some of her favorite candies. Her and David love dark chocolate. I'm not a huge fan, but they really enjoy these dark chocolate peanut butter cups from Trader Joe's. So I just got her a little bag of those. You can find these close to the register. I got her a heart-shaped Reese's because this is another one of her favorite candies. And the shapes are just so much better than the regular. So gotta have a heart-shaped. And then last but not least, I got her this candle. It just says, you're the best. It is in the scent Rose Petal. And I was not expecting to like the scent because I don't really love rose-scented things. But this smells so good. And Melissa loves to take baths, so I thought this might be perfect to put next to her bath. And I put it all in this cute little tin that just has hearts all over it. And then I just have some little grass in here. And then I'll package it up really cute. It does come with a lid, so I'll probably just put the lid on the bottom, tie it all up, make it super cute. But I just thought this was 
a really good idea. Like I said, I've been doing it for the past few years. I think it is so fun, especially because I mail these to her and who doesn't love getting happy mail? I don't tell her they're coming. I don't tell her anything about it. Not They don't always show up on Valentine's Day. Sometimes it's a few days before, a few days after, so she just never knows. Is she getting one this year? Who knows? Um, so I just think it's super fun. And this one was really ex inexpensive, like I said. Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. This was less than a dollar. This was probably close to a dollar. Um, the most I spent was on the mug, which was $5.99. <laughs> the wine was from my advent calendar. So it can be super inexpensive and super easy to make someone's day. I just really think this is such a fun idea. So I wanted to share it with you in case you wanted to put something together for your girlfriend or your friend. Um, I love this and some of these things will last a little bit longer than flowers. And just, you know, I don't know. I know she'll love it. So that is everything that I'm putting in her gift basket. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, you can go to my blog for a few more ideas from what I gave her last year. I think I had a fun bath bomb and some other things like that. So make sure to check out the blog post. If you're doing anything like this for one of your friends, let me know what you're putting in your gift basket in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you have a wonder wonder what? I can never finish these videos. I hope that you have a wonderful Valentine's Day celebrating the ones you love or just the love that you have for yourself. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.